Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic on a Saturday. Um, and congratulations to those people who are getting through the puzzle hunt on Patreon that was by Stefan Bura and Udukos. It's proving very popular. I think a lot of people have quite understandably waited till the weekend to have the time to really crack through it. it there's some brilliant puzzles there, some brilliant leaps of understanding that have to be made about how to solve them. And it's getting some really good reviews from those who've solved it. So we're incredibly grateful to both constructors and to anybody who's giving it a go and to anybody who joins us on Patreon. We're really pleased with your support. Thank you. Um, now, there's also merchandise. I've been told this is the last week in which to order uh, merchandise to be sure it's there in time for Christmas. There is some uh, Christmas theme merch on the store tab amongst it, amongst the stuff uh, on, as I say, the store tab on the channel. Um, and that's certainly worth, worth a look. We are also getting to the stage where we are contacting the 20 extra puzzles that have been chosen for the book. And uh, sorry, we're contacting the authors of those and we're very pleased that the book is going to have some fabulous puzzles in it. The choice, unsurprisingly, of the extra puzzles has included an awful lot of puzzles that were very close to being chosen by us anyway for the book. So that's, I guess, unsurprising and a very good move. Now, this puzzle, I saw this on Logic Masters Germany and it really appeals to me. Look at the grid. Brilliant. Um, it's called Let's Put a Smile on That Face. It's by Listesh, who is a Hungarian, I was going to say composer, that's come to our attention recently. I mean a constructor, but I remember he's Hungarian because his name includes the name of the Hungarian composer Lish, List, which, uh, Franz Liszt, which um, I think that's right. Now, my general knowledge let me down quite badly yesterday. My memories of Monty Python, clearly I wasn't great on the pronunciation or even the name, although I think that came from the author of the puzzle yesterday. But as long as I am remembering the uh, Franz Liszt's country of origin correctly, I'm not offending anyone. If I am offending anyone, sorry. Anyway, what's going on in the puzzle? Well, we've got some cages, as you can see. And yes, this is a killer Sudoku. What do the colors mean? Nothing. They're just there for the aesthetics of the smiling face. Um, so don't worry about the colors. The cages, as usual in Killer Sudoku, represent the sum within the cage is shown and numbers can't repeat within a cage. Now, there is an extra rule. You mustn't forget this, and I'm, I mustn't forget this. There is a knight's move restriction. So, for instance, those two cells cannot contain the same number because they're of chess knights move apart. Same with those two. Um, and indeed, that, that goes for the cells in the cages as well. So that's what we have. Um, Listesh has been very good. We featured him a couple of times on the channel. And when I first looked at this puzzle, I was thinking, how could you possibly create a killer Sudoku with so few cages uh, and only a couple of, only four given numbers? But I've remembered, obviously, the knights move constraint will help, but probably only later, I would imagine, as we go through the solve. So do have a go on the link below the video as usual. We'll take you to the puzzle in our software, and I'm going to try now. So let's get cracking. And yes, we've got a five cage here. That's only got two possible fills, and one of them has been ruled out by the four in the column. So that's a two, three pair. Uh... And that dries up. Oh no, 11 cage without a 4 and a 2 in it. That's got to be 137. If you use any number higher than 3, even with the 1, it's going to be too much. So that must be right. That does not give us the 15 cage. Uh, contents, no. This is obviously 19 since it's in a box that must add up to 45, the sum of 1 to 9 with 15 and 11. But no, I mean, these break down in what feels like one of three or four different ways at the moment. So I hope to get a bit more information about them. Ah, yes, okay. Look at these three cells in the 17 cage. Now, their minimum value, given that 
two, three, and four are already used in column three is one, five, and six, which adds up to 12. That would require two and three in these cells. And I think, I don't think there's any other way to do this. So I'm gonna fill that in as a triple. One, five, six there, two, three there. And now let's have a think about the knight's move because I've seen this X pentomino pattern before it has some really weird properties in knight's move Sudokus based around these cells at the end of it. The fascinating thing is they can never, this cell can never have any of the digits that are in the set, in the, in the X pentomino that it can see because it can see those two by knight's move, those three in the row and the same will be true of all of these cells. None of them can be one, five, six, two, three, or four. So that one is eight or seven. I suppose these can be any of seven, eight, or nine. They must include a nine. This simile, four, eight, or seven. Uh, it's not quite as helpful as I'd hoped, but Let's bear that in mind, especially when we get to the 30 cage again, those cells will be un, unable to contain any of the numbers in the 30 cage. Now let's, let's see what else we can do with what we've learnt. Ah, okay, here's something in this box, we've got two large numbers by which I'm meaning something over five at this point uh, in those cells. There's got to be another one here because the 15 cage is clearly made up of either six, nine or seven, eight. And there's got to be a fourth one in the 10 cage because this always involves one number over five and one number below it. So, So these must all be smaller than six. So that one's not a six. Six is now confined up here somewhere. Um, these are from one, two, three, four, or five. I'm not sure actually how helpful this is, but it is just something I was noticing there. Uh, how can we use that? What about along the bottom? Four, one, three, seven, two. Oh, look at that. Yes, this is either five, nine or six, eight. These cells are also from the same group because four, one, three, seven, two have been used up. So they must add up to 14 and be the others. If that was five, nine, that'll be six, eight or the other way round. These must add up to 15 as well. Uh, 14 as well, sorry. I'm starting to look at the 15 cage to see if that helps us resolve any of this. And it doesn't, but look, five, six, eight, nine, two. So this can be three, four, or seven, nine, eight, or five above it. Ah, this is either, uh, no, that's wrong. It's either one, seven or two, six. Okay, I haven't really got very far with that. Sorry, let me... I think we have to use the knight's move a bit more. I'm going to have to find some sort of relational thing. Like, now that six is in one of those cells, it can't be in those. That, that kind of... Um, Knight's move relation job, right? Nine. Oh, the nine is in one of those. No, that's not that useful. No, that's not nine, obviously. So that's not five because those two make up 14. If that was seven, we'd have eight here. That would be nine. Oh, both of these cells see that on the knight's move, don't they? So if this was seven, eight, that would have to be a nine. If this was six, nine, uh, 
Oh, this can't be six, nine, maybe. Yes, it can. That could be eight and that could be six. That would put the six here. That would work fine. That's quite plausible. Oh, what am I not seeing now? Come on, Mark. Have a think about this. Three is in one of those two cells. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put three in the corner. These are from one, three, four, and seven. Maybe I do need to start working out the possible fills here, which I didn't want to have to do, I have to, I have to admit. Um, ah, this is frustrating. Oh, right, those two both see that cell, so it can't be two or three. They have to be the different ones from two and three. Yeah, that's clear enough. Now, if this was six, nine, we would be getting... That would be the nine. That would put nine here. Oh, oh, that's very interesting. Oh, yes. Look, if that, if this was a nine, what happens here? These three cells have to add up to 19. Now they can't contain a nine. They can't be 874. Seven's been used in the box. They have to be 865. And that makes this one impossible because we've used 9, 8, 6, and 5 in the row. That's brilliant. Okay, so this is not a 9. Does that mean this is not a 9? No, it doesn't. But this is not a 9. Does that mean this does contain a 9? It can't be 865. Could it be 874? Four with six there. No, this can't be nine either because nine's locked in that box because of column three. Right, so in fact that is a seven eight pair. Now both those cells see that one. One by night's move and one it's in the same box. So that's a nine. This one isn't a nine. That's giving us a seven eight pair here. That eliminates eight from that one, reduces the possibilities there considerably. Remove seven from there. Ah, oh, this is, yeah, this is acting together in a peculiar way. So we've got nine, seven, eight. So this 10 cage contains six and four. Four's up here somewhere. Uh, and therefore not in any of these cells. That's a one, five pair now. So now we've got a two, three pair. That one, five pair is both seeing that cell, which must be a six. Oh, stop it. Uh, highlight just that box. Right, so that's not a six now. So we've also got a one, five pair there. In fact, we've got this whole column in numbers and pairs. Um, four, six there. That's not a four. Now we've got a seven, eight pair up here as well. Um, one, five, both see that cell. And so did two and three. And seven, eight, that's a naked single. That's the mad night, night smooth naked single. Let me just take you through what it can't be. It can't be nine because it's in the box. It can't be eight, seven. They're a pair in the box. It can't be six, which is right there. It can't be five or one because it sees both of those cells, which are five and one, and it can't be two and three because it sees both of those cells. So that is a four and a very pretty one, if I may say so. Um, now, all of that said, how does that actually help? One of these is a six, just by Sudoku. Uh, nine, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, what about these? I don't know, and I don't know if it would help if I did know. Um, oh, this can't be two, three, seven, eight, four. And I can't rule out one and five, I don't think. Uh, let's just keep going with what we can do. Now, seven, eight there. Now, is this still... 
I suppose there is a way it can be 865 with a 7 there and a 9 there. Can it have a 9 in it? For 9 to be... Actually, maybe it has to have a 9 in it. For 9 to be in this cage, it would have to be 942 with a 3 there. Doesn't really limit that much, actually. Oh, okay. Now, seven, or, 7 and 8 are both a pair looking at that. So that's not an 8 and that's not a 6. Hasn't quite resolved this either. Um, if that was a six, that couldn't be. That would be the six. Nah, not very helpful. Still, I do really want to know what these cages are here. I might, if I was in a, sorry, that 14 cage and that hypothetical 14 cage. If I was in a competition, I'd be bifurcating, but I don't want to do that here. Now, maybe I can do something with this cage. This doesn't have a two in it because of that two and that pair. It's not very helpful. I mean, there's still quite a few combinations. It doesn't even have to have a nine as it could be eight, seven, six, five, four, just in terms of the arithmetic. Um, oh, if I knew what that was, I'd be away. Right, what, maybe there's, this could be 924, in which case this would be 865. That's the thing I think probably doesn't happen. 9, 7, 3, 2, 1. Wow, I mean, you could do the whole row if this was 865. You could just fill it in, but I can't see that it breaks, which is what I need it to do to prove that that has to have a 9 in it which might not be even all that helpful. Okay, but that is the only way it would go if this doesn't have a nine in it. Now, if it does have a nine in it, it adds up to 19. It could be 982 or 964. 982 would break. That would put 37 there and make this impossible. So it's either 964 or 865. So it's got a six in it. So that's not six and that's not eight. If that's got a 6 in it, 9, 6, 4, 8, 6, 5, this has a 2 in it. Ah, and that fixes at least my 3, 2 cage. Not that way, that way. Now that places 3 in this box. Yes, it does. 3 can no longer be in this cell. So that is useful because that's in a cage. So that makes this a 9. Surely that's useful. That sees this by knight's move. Oh, it doesn't quite resolve that. Nine in row four is in one of those. Oh, I thought I was there and I'm not quite. This can be, but maybe the possibilities have been removed down. No, this can still be 865. Can it be 964? Eight, seven, one, five. And if it's eight, six, five, nine, seven, one, four. So that can't be seven anymore. <laughs> the tiniest gain I've made. Let me just consider these again. Eight, six, five, nine, seven, one, four, or nine, six, four, eight. This is seven again. That is seven either way. Okay, that's a kind of pairing. Um, uh, don't tell me that doesn't help. That makes that a seven. Surely this is doing something. Uh, it's fixing eight and seven in box one. Come on. And what can this be now? Seven, two, three, six, one, five. Uh, still a few possibilities. Seven, two, three. Four. That adds up to 14. I really haven't managed to restrict that at all. Right, so let's have a think about this one again. If this was 
eight six five seven two nine one so it would go one nine four in the other cages if it's nine six four eight one that's a five so that's a one or a five this sees a lot of numbers nine seven a four six pair eight two three that is a one or a five two is that right nine seven four six in the column eight two three Yes, so a one five pair that fixes this eight. And now I think finally we are cooking with some cooking with gas. Sorry, I'm not trying to change the metaphor. That's a nine to finish the box. Now we know that nine is up here. Again, my hunch is no, I thought eight six five was going to be proved wrong. I suppose I was right about that in the end. My hunch wasn't bad there, although it's just 50 50, frankly. Uh, that can't be one and seven, so that's definitely a two six pair. We've got sixes confined there and there. Six must be up here somewhere. Five, four, six. Ah, that is a knight's move away from a two. Oops, so that is actually very helpful. Indeed, that gets me four digits. This is now, oh, one of them's a three. Yes, it's there, obviously. It's a one five pair. So it's just the one five pairs and that four six pair that we can't resolve. Ah, oh, no, look, that's a one. Okay, just the others. This is a two eight five. That does add up to 15. Ah, oh, this cell sees two and eight on the knight's move. That's very nice. Um. Does this, oh look, yes, nine looks into that, nine looks into that. So we can place one of those cells as well there. And four resolves the other two, that's nice. Uh, so that's not a six. Right, nine, two, six. This can also see one, three and eight. That's not very helpful. Oh, what about this cage, the last cage? Can't... Oh, it's not... Oh, it's okay. What are the maximum that can go in here? 9, 7 and 5, which would add up to 21 and leave 8 and 1 as the only possibles. But if it was 9, it's not quite... I don't think that works quite the same as the other side, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to have to keep doing a bit of Sudoku to get going. Um, where's best to look? Now this two, six, ah yes, that four can see this cell. Right, that's resolved the seven, four pair. That five, nine pair is resolved by an ordinary nine. Now we have five, eight and seven to go in up here. That can't be a seven. eight and two no they're not resolved that can't be three that one can't be seven one is not looking into this trio at all so i can't figure anything out about that maybe i do have to work on this one so if it didn't have a nine, I said it could be eight, seven, five, six, four. And I suppose seven, five, four there, eight, six there is still just possible. Ah, this and, th oh, this means it can't have both a five and an eight in it. Because whatever this is can't appear in, in the gray cage. Oh, well, that gets more interesting. Then it has to have a nine in it. Which I can't really... Con oh, that means this isn't a nine. Now it can't have both an eight and a four. Oh, this is weird. This is uh, seven, two, three. But in the row, it's going to need a six and a nine somewhere. So it must have six and nine in. That's 15. The other three add up to 15. 
could be an 8 in there, and then 2 adding up to 7 here, which would be 4 and 3, which is impossible because that one rules them both out of that cell. So there's not an 8 in here. There's not an 8 in the cage. So 9, 7, 6, 5, 3. Does it have to be that? Yes, it does, because it needs something bigger than 6. Right, the cage is made up of 9, 7, 6, 5, 3. The 3 has to go here. The 6 can't be here. It's in one of those two. The 9 can't be here. It's in one of those two. This is 5 or 7. And one of these is 5 or 7. This one is seeing all the other candidates, so that's a 6. Yeah, so I can sketch in 5, 7, 9. 5 does appear in the cage, so this is an 8. Um, that is forming a 5, 7 pair in the box. This is brilliant. May I mean, it might be just the way I'm finding my way through it, but it is so beautiful the way the numbers are feeding onto each other. That is not an 8, and it can't be a 5 because of that pair. So that's the 7 in the column. That makes this the 5. 7, finish the cage. 5, that finishes the last grey cage. And we really must have all the information we need now, surely. We've got 1, 2, 4 to put in up here. Actually, nothing much is seeing those by night's moves, so... It's a triple. Oh, this is a four. That's the last one in the column. Ah, I can't quite see where that puts four here. I might be missing something. That is eight or four. Um, three, seven, two, six, nine are definite here. That has to be eight. It's the only place an eight can go in the box. One has to be here because that sees that by night's move. That's a four, that's a five. The four has dealt with the six over there. That deals with the six on the right. Now we've just got the central three boxes, two, five, and eight to go. So we can fill in this one now, six, nine, four. Five is there, an eight, seven pair here. There is a night's move eight to deal with that. One, two, and three here. Uh, that's not a three, that's not a three, so that's three. One and two, surely something on the knight's move. Can't see it if there is. This one, three, seven, that is resolved. No, it's partly resolved. I can put the three in. Right. This is either a one or a two by Sudoku, which gives us a pair. Eight and nine to go in here. Yes, they are done just in the columns. Um, oh, I can't believe this is still holding out. That's not a four anymore. So the four is here. Sorry, that's the last one in its column. That's very straightforward. Six is here now. Seven. Yes, knight's move. Seven is there. We've got a deadly pattern of ones and twos there. But in a knight's move Sudoku, a deadly pattern is not necessarily deadly. That one fixes it. Thank goodness. Two and one. Now, the two and eight, they are done. That does the one and two. And finally, a one and seven. What a lovely puzzle by Listesh. I do hope you tried that and uh, worked your way through it. Maybe not the same way as me. I mean, that one five pair was not easy to find. There may be other ways through, through the bottom and the left side of the grid, which I think is where you must have to start. But really fascinating puzzle. Thank you very much for watching. As always, thank you for subscribing. Can't believe we're over 301,000 now. Brilliant. And I uh, hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.